Hello and welcome to Goa 365 Sports Encounters. We've been watching FIFA, the World Cup 2022 at Qatar for quite some time now. I think a month, maybe more than a month. Exact, exact. This I don't know. And but the semi-finals which happened yesterday and day before were truly, truly amazing. The football FIFA, the World Cup fever is slowly reaching its peak. But the games. Which were held the semi-finals. I really don't know if the finals is really going to, you know, beat the games that that happened in, in the past couple of days. So uh, starting off, we expected when the last discussion we had, we expected uh, probably Croatia and and uh, and uh, Argentina, you know, to be tougher. But Morocco and France was amazing, and. Uh, our prediction sales stats will get back to upgrades on that a uh, uh, little later. But let me introduce our, our panel first before we take it up. Kabir Shetty, senior manager FC Goa. Kabir, welcome. Thank you. Amrit Murari, head of analysis FC. Amrit, welcome. Ajay Acharya, assistant coach at Sporting Club the Goa. Ajay, yes. welcome. Ajay, first time in, in, in our. And uh, Mahesh Gangkar, President SJG. Mahesh Bab, welcome. Kabir, what about the games? France versus Morocco was like it, it, it like I think France played what we thought Morocco would play, <laughs> yeah. and it really, it really, it's, 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 it was a very, very powerful game compared yeah, to even the Croatia. What do you think? It was fantastic. But champions do what champions do. So okay. clearly, in both games, actually, both semi-finals, you could make out uh, that little bit of extra quality came out and showed. Uh, the effort from the Moroccans was fantastic. I think it was great to watch. Uh, I feel they were a bit unlucky. They should have at least got a goal, if not taking the game to extra time. But uh, again, as I said, I think champions did what champions need to do. France was really, really amazing. Ajay Bab, Argentina is your favorite team, as 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 you have been very thick, but. Let's not talk about Messi right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the semi-finals. <laughs> yeah. what do you think? Uh, so, uh, Argentina has play, played outstanding for the, this World Cup. Okay, even Croatia. Croatia also uh, last year's uh, runners-up for the World Cup. So I feel because uh, the most the dangerous place, you know, Messi. <laughs> so uh, I feel he played for the country first time. Because what I see in Messi is like his career. So I never saw Messi like who played this type of football. It's outstanding, especially in the same final. Mm -hmm. But uh, he played for his uh, country, I feel. And even uh, Croatia, they started very good. We, then the Croatia played, they started very good. 15 minutes, they very started very yeah, good yeah, yeah. with the ball position and all. But fraction of second, just, just 32 minutes, this lack of defense, slim mistakes, and they considered the goal. So I feel that. Amrit, I think that penalty put them off. We can discuss the penalty till like you know, <laughs> <laughs> come out to lose. But I think the penalty shook them a little bit. Of what they could not, and the, the mental strength was not there. I'm talking about the first semis. I what? guess I, I wouldn't say mental strength, but uh, it was not expected. I mean, the way the match is going, you would, I was expecting Croatia to score first. Yes, but that happens when you play Argentina sometimes, you know, like the quality they have, they won the penalty and after that, I'm I mean, Arjun sir said it, like yeah. when Messi is on the pitch, sometimes Messi does Messi things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do anything, like as, as an opponent, you just have to accept it's Messi. No, but an analytically, looking at it, anal analytically also, uh, uh, Croatia, there was a deterioration in the, don't you think? Or, 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 or am I imagining? I no, I, I don't think there was a de deterioration so much. Uh, obviously, they were. Um, that's why. Gonna yeah, that was. Then it mentally it might have affected them. I don't think so. Uh, but when you are playing well and then you concede a goal, sometimes uh, it either gives you extra motivation to go forward or it gives the opponent extra motivation. So I think that's what happened. Argentina was just a little more motivated maybe than Croatia. I don't think Croatia played badly. I think uh, no, uh, they were, it was, like I said, right, like when you have Messi in a game, he can do that to any team, anywhere, anytime. So two moments of magic he had, he changed the game. Mahesh what do you think? Argentina, you know, we didn't yeah, predict both, Argentina. Both the semi-finals were very good uh, Super. matches. Yes. And um, both uh, France as well as Argentina, right from the beginning, they were in attacking mode. 
in argentina uh, optate formation it was a diamond formation four four two mm. so it's attacking mm. and uh, they outclass croatia okay. so <laughs> it's a um, uh, messy magic that <laughs> Uh, gave Argentina a uh, thumping win. As far as uh, France and Morocco is concerned, France were too superb. Mbappe, the speed of the Mbappe was classic. <laughs> he was running like a leopard. <laughs> it was very difficult to catch him. So the final will be uh, all fans will experience a good match all over the world. Normally, yeah. Normally, finals are not that thing. No, no. We've it's seen cagey because uh, there's a lot on the line. Yeah. At the end of the day, you've reached the final. You want, you don't want to lose it. I think there's the, the mentality of going out and winning it is one thing, but there's also the fact that at the back of your head, you've done everything you need to to get to the final. You don't want to lose you it. You don't want to lose it. That's yeah. What so lose that it. that's it's so that's why mo on most parts you will see it as a very very cagey game. Now, uh, Ajay. We let let's talk about Argentina. What what do you feel now? Uh, is is this can it beat France? France is I think the uh, most complete team. I've not seen a, a team like this probably in five years. They are like really really together. And, and what do you feel? Argentina. I, feel I just I just I, the yeah, team. I just <laughs> see Argentina <laughs> the lost against Saudi Arabia. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's a, it's a, so it's a lost against somebody else. Yeah. Okay. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know the story. It's the same story. It's a 1990. They lost. They lost against Cameroon okay. in that World Cup. And then they come back. They beat Brazil 1990. Then they beat uh, Italy, and they came in the final. Okay. But they have, ultimately they lost in the final 1-0. Okay, but here is the same story. So it's not the you feel France will beat them. No, <laughs> this time <laughs> the, I feel because see, I told you f beginning also the Messi. So Messi is because he's the last World Cup. Mm -hmm. So he said that day also. He's already made his announcement. announcement yeah. retirement. Yeah. So I feel because this time Argentina will make it to the. So Messi the final. will do what? Uh, Hundred percent. What Messi yeah, does. Yeah, Messi <laughs> will do what uh, your hero are. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I told you before because Messi is Messi because in the because of country. Amrit, now tell me one thing. We, we discussed the semis. Like, like uh, analyze the the games. The probably the strategy. What what the coaches could have now. Uh, Deshams has already been there in the World Cup. Now the Moroccan coach was not there, and uh, Argentina. Wh what do you feel when they went into it? What 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 were they thinking? I think depends on the team, of course. Okay. I think Morocco would want to continue doing what they did the last mm -hmm. two rounds, right? Um, mm -hmm. They wanted to sit deep. They wanted to, um, they wanted to let France do their thing. Do your best, and we will try to, um, and we'll try to counter attack. That was probably Morocco's plan. But it worked out a little better, I felt, yeah. for them because the match was much more entertaining. Yeah, because yeah. they did like what probably I don't know France would probably. <laughs> yeah, <do>. yeah. <laughs> so the it, France gave them chances. Uh, uh, France are the best, probably the best squad in yeah, this today, tournament. Yes. Uh, still left, but uh, Morocco gave them problems, and I think France took it a little lightly at the start. Uh, they were probably expecting to win that match comfortably, in, and in the end, their quality came through. Um, so, yeah, I guess uh, Morocco, unfortunately, they couldn't do it. But France's plan was to be, and again, in the final, they will look to be solid first. Um, they're a team. They they might try to go the Morocco way. Try to let Argentina absorb. have ab have a little ball absorb and then try to counter attack, which I think suits France with Mbappe and uh, Griezmann, yeah, and uh, it suits their style. But France also they're such a good team. They have the ability if they choose to to, to take the game to Argentina. But I think it'll be the other way around. But uh, I what's the difference Mbappe this time? No, I don't think. I don't <laughs> <laughs> okay, but to be fair, uh, we spoke. Abbas spoke about how it's uh, Messi's last match in a World Cup. The story is ready for him to win the trophy. But I think I mentioned this last time as well. Mbappe could become the first player since Pele yeah. to win back to back, back to, back. to yes. take his country to back to back. back, to back. back. Uh, and okay. below twenty three. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So he's got at least two more. So so Messi, last year. <laughs> Messi and Ronaldo have had full careers and they've not managed to do this. So yeah. Mbappe is going to do it twice. Yeah, exactly. Twice. Right. exactly. So it's uh, in terms of storylines, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, but I think it'll be a boring match. <laughs> 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 but it very rarely yeah. uh, is that case. The best matches of World Cups yeah. are always the semis. Yeah. Mayshwar, what do you think? The history shows that uh, 
फ्रांस एंड अर्जेंटीना प्लेट अराउंड ट्वेल्व मैचेस एंड सिक्स मैचेस इज वन बाय द अर्जेंटीना थ्री आर ड्रॉन एंड थ्री बाय फ्रांस सो दिस गिव्स एडवांटेज इन दिस वर्ल्ड कप द मैसेज मैजिक इज टिल नाउ कंटिन्यूइंग एंड इट इज एट द हाई पिक and he is having good support of young blood alvarez no? alvarez yes, 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 uh, yes, yes, yes. playing fantastically yes yes so it's an advantage as far as uh, argentina is concerned but they have to broke the hurdles of this uh, um, empave uh, giroud so these are star players last time they have played against uh, uh, france france versus argentina in the year 2018 it was uh, in the world cup in, in russia quarter final in that match no mbappe played a major role and yeah. because of that uh, france has, uh, argentina has lost so this time it's a good opportunity for messi <laughs> to play the magic and take a revenge and <laughs> since this is a last world cup he has already announced it and this prestigious world cup uh, it doesn't have in his feather so he can grab that and it's a good opportunity for him and i think he will may succeed in this okay i want to i want to bring this up like uh, we spoken about de paul and paredes in in, uh, in the midfield of of argentina but the last match this mcallister was like uh, really yeah. he was everywhere yeah. yeah he was like literally powering on uh, that off so th- but see as 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 uh, uh, ajay and mahesh have said argentina is working for messi as a team it's working for messi now uh, france is is like on its own uh, clock like it's it's not working for any specific so Indeed. would that uh, be a thing or would that be an advantage in the finals kabhi so the thing is it could work both, both ways, ways right? yeah yeah like, so the like maradona type of yeah like i mean obviously because that that x factor is mm-hmm. is is unaccountable for you can't there's no way you can account for that okay. uh but w- one of the things that france could do is they could man mark mess you can try and mar- man mark yeah, messi yeah, out of the yeah. game uh, out of it. but who are argentina going to do that to i mean they can take mbappe out but then they've got dembele on the other <laughs> side uh you take dembele out you've got griezmann on that side okay. then you you can't discount the fact that juru has been as important as he has been uh so i mean i think in in that way as amrit said i think because france is more of a complete squad yeah it's a team they it's can team. they can change the way they play they, as he said i think yeah. they can go between playing counter attack to having possession of the ball to even playing the long ball they can go multiple ways in the way they want to play it but ja- argentina is going to go one way try and find messi messi, messi to find, find yeah, yeah, something <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah. or someone <laughs> yeah. so yeah because uh, see now uh, when when dembele was substituted mbappe came in the came to the center yeah so when juru came off yeah, they, came, yeah, yeah. they put turam outside exactly so again you've got someone who's got yeah. equally good enough speed exactly. on that side equally good enough skill and technique and turam has yeah. got pedigree yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> Okay before we we continue uh, let's go into a, a small small break keep watching Welcome back. Now uh, we we were discussing. We we had reached uh, thing, but I want to bring a little bit uh, onto uh, you know the 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 substitute. Forty four seconds goal. Uh, Thuram has come in also as and he's and he's, he's played uh, pretty 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 tough. So France, uh, you feel uh, France has got a better bench strength than uh, than Argentina? Or, or yeah, I think the overall. I think they are definitely the the strongest team uh, okay. on paper. uh but yeah i don't think uh, ajay will agree with you <laughs> what do you have to say about that ajay no he actually is right because france also <laughs> no because france also got a very good bench strength okay like like argentina also yeah. same thing because anybody can come and anybody can play so it's like that so i was agree with this uh, what do you think 
what will be the game of argentina what will be the game of of uh, no france? because see i'll tell you in france there are there are advantage for the striking force speed they, they got very good like uh, uh, they got mbappe they got hernandez they got giroud they got dibele this side so these four players can make the difference only advantage for the france to win the cup but the other side is messi so what exactly he said <laughs> if they they capture caught messi then everything their role is successful france so this is so the the important is the france is strike force is very good for me very important yeah what do you feel amit i agree um france the 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 for front four they are the actually they were midfielders but the way they play they are yeah really yeah so that's the that's where all the eyes will go um, but i think the french defense is also very good. yeah that's what i was going um, to say the it's very compact very compact and they are all 6 foot plus they are all huge big guys. big guys yeah, yeah and yeah. they can play also it's yeah. not uh, they went one sided so i think like generally i look through this france team i don't see a weakness um, they've got energy in midfield they've got passing ability they've got good defenders very good goalkeeper front four we've already spoken a lot about okay. i don't see a weakness but if at the same time when i look at argentina's team argentinian uh, squad there are a few players you can pick at who are not elite players uh, you i don't you don't know, i don't know how tagliafico is going to put up with uh, a dembele or a molina yeah. versus mbappe those individual battles uh, these players are highly motivated uh, yeah. we've discussed that already last match for messi and all that they be highly motivated but f- the french team is just too much quality i think it's got a lot of quality yeah right? yeah, yeah I, i agree with uh, what uh, amrit has said France team has a good quality player, but bench as far as so yeah, bench bench strength is also good because uh, in the semi final uh, the second goal was scored by the substitute player. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so as far as um, Argentina is concerned, they are also having good strength. Uh, Messi is working hard. Extra hard. Yeah, yeah, extra <laughs> hard. You can uh, see the third goal. The the way he has dribbled the ball and the pass was. So brilliant. Yes, very good. Yeah. And uh, Alvarez is concerned. The second goal, you you have seen that he uh, took the ball from the center <laughs> to the go- goalie. <laughs> It's a brilliant, <laughs> move, yeah. brilliant move. The uh, dribbling skill and all was amazing. The I first few tackles yeah. in the final will be interesting to see. Paredes on uh, on Mbappe. Uh, when you get the uh, ball on on uh, on Dembele. It'll be interesting to see because Dibol I think because the ball doesn't have that much of speed. Yeah, but I think the yeah, physicality they will nah, bring yeah. that out on a very different level in the final. I think they will try and make it very stop start. That would be Argentina's break, yeah break, break, break every flow. Okay, now uh, uh, we I want to get into some of the players. Okay, I'm just I'm waiting to bring uh, Ajay on uh, Ronaldo. Before that, <laughs> let's talk about the third and fourth. Uh, Croatia versus Morocco. Yeah. We are not uh, discussing. That should be an interesting game. That will be a great game to watch. Yeah, it will be probably the last time we see Luka Modric. So it will be yes, playing yes. the international stage. So it will be great to watch. Yeah. He said such a such an influence not only on on uh, the, uh, Croatia also on European football. He's been really really good good and that's is this is last. This cannot be. I don't think more <laughs> more. <laughs> I cannot pull any further. <laughs> I don't think. Ajay, what do you say? Uh, the moroccan moroccan side also is very good side very good. okay because they are most of the play they playing for the euro mm. the best x6 base mm. in the hakimi is playing for the santa germany so yeah, yeah. yeah he's playing for that but there are there but uh, that dreamers you know <laughs> they played what they played against spain they played against portugal the good football but uh, ultimately semi final i think they little bit because there are lots of injuries mm. i feel mm. comeback is <laughs> in not Third, fourth place. What do you think? Morocco will. I think so. Morocco will. Yeah, yeah, Morocco. <laughs> yeah, sure. Because they'll come. Because at least third place, they'll fight for the third place for the country. Abhi, do you feel? I sadly I disagree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it's so going to be a one-sided match. Yeah. I think it'll be because. The beauty of the Morocco run so far was their motivation. Mm-hmm. They were here. The story was amazing. They're yes. underdog. It's over. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
uh, they will see this as just another match. Uh, they're just coming to play a football match because third, fourth place match is pretty meaningless uh, once you taste like these teams would have been dreaming of winning oh, the trophy, yes, yeah. playing the final, yeah. and now they're playing in this match. So I think uh, the Morocco Moroccan motivation won't be as high, um, and Croatia will have the Croatia have the players to win that match. They are more professional, I think. They are yeah. more steady. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, and despite what I, I mean, uh, the thing with Morocco also is that more than ten of their players play uh, are not born in Morocco. Yeah. Uh, they all play outside, outside the country. country. So that's why yeah. they've that's yeah, why they've been right. developed. Now, uh, Mahesh, what do you feel? I, this is the last bit because I want to bring in the players after that. For, for third place match, uh, third, I agree with. Uh, uh, Amrit has said Croatia is uh, having good advantage okay. uh, as far as the, uh, Morocco is concerned. Because in Sami we have seen that uh, Morocco's defense was totally collapsed. Mm. Because of that, uh, this uh, France got the opportunity and they won cleanly by 2 0 margin. So, good opportunity for the Croatian because uh, they were last uh, runners. Runners of the yeah. 18 20. And, um, very strong team. Kabir, now the players, the guys who are going to go out, top scorers, what, what do you feel? Who are, who's not going to be playing? We know a few obvious ones, but let's like, put it on the record. So it's no, I think even in the Croatia squad, if you look at it, there's a f fair few number of them that are not going to be there mm. for the next... Uh, so Dejan Lovren's last World Cup for sure, Vida's last World Cup. Uh, Modric, Luka Modric, is, as we as we mentioned, I think is is a big one. Even in terms of the Argentina squad, you have you have Otamendi's last World Cup, Messi's last World Cup. So officially, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. So it is. I think the the landscape of football is going to change a little bit. Uh, this is going to be obviously the superstars are being born right now uh, for the next World Cup. Guardiola has been absolutely outstanding. I think the next, yeah, next next World Cup is going to be huge. Uh, but the France squad is littered with them. I think that entire squad <laughs> is, is huge. Yeah, like you had. Even the star is like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, discussed. like yesterday. I mean, the semi-final they lost uh, Uba Makano. Mm. He couldn't play. He's been really, really good for them. Konate came in, and there was in no better. difference. In fact, Konate made some made those saves. Yeah, made I thought there was a goal. Huge, that's huge, that's huge yeah. tackles, huge saves. So you know, uh, you can clearly see the next generation of superstars coming through. Yeah. Forgotten the, the Brazilians and the Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So again, with Neymar, there's a, there's a big <laughs> question. You never you never know uh, if because he's young enough. I think he would be able to ne ne Neymar to to make it. Uh, what he be? Thirty. He be thirty in his thirties. Yeah, he be thirty. One more World Cup. But the advantage is the fact that Brazil have a like a factory of making superstars. I mean, mm. but, so we'll have to see. Yeah, uh, and of course Cristiano's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we leave that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we leave that. I just said for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ronaldo is my favorite. Player. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know because. But Messi how Ronaldo be your favorite player in Argentina? No, because Argentina <laughs> is my favorite because of Mar Maradona, because I, I like him very much because my uh, playing days also. You know, I was watching the World Cup in 86. So that from that time I was watching World Cup for, and then um, I was most uh, to prefer for the Argentina. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the story for Ronaldo was written. Yeah, so yeah, so what about the rest? I don't think a like, lot of squads will change, no? Yeah. Uh, Building, rebuilding. Even Croatia, I think half the team is I there. think Croatia, almost the whole team is... Yeah, uh, uh, you From this team, uh, you would think the goalkeeper and Guardiola. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably, probably only it. France, no? France, I feel like um, this is completely different from the last team that won the yeah. World Cup. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> and so you never know; they might come with a completely different, different team different, and yeah. <laughs> finish in the final again. You don't know it's France. They just the way they are developing players right now is very very. I'd say probably they're, com they're you know, almost comparative with Brazil. Yeah. 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 And Literally. the thing is, they develop different styles of players. Yeah, yeah. In Brazil, you get those attacking yeah, flair players, yeah, but yeah. France, you get like yeah. all sorts. You know, you have your Mbappe. You also have a Jiru who is the exact opposite of Opposite, yeah. yes. So, what do you think? Yeah, uh, every nation is producing new new players and it's good to see. You know, now Alvarez is the golden boy now. At least Argentina he, Messi is not there, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. He may be the next Messi of yeah. the uh, Argentina. Ah, Argentina. You don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a discussion. laughs> we can predict now. So <laughs> yeah. Younger age, if he is having so much of talent, he is having good prospect to state what I think. 
as far as uh, France is concerned, they are giving better and better players. Yeah, it's interesting. Actually, the, uh, I think there was the press conference yesterday. Not only European nations, or, um, even the Africans, the Asian, yeah. Asian Asian countries. Asian. Saudi Arabia, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Even South Korea. Yeah. So it was so good. But this time, uh, Asian teams played better. Very good. Yeah. Good performance for you the World press conference? Yeah, at the press conference, Deschamps was asked about the upcoming final and he didn't rule out the fact that Benzema could be. <laughs> uh, so it's yeah, his, it will definitely be his last World Cup. Yes. Uh, yes. As the president. I, just I mean, I, I think it's a bit of. Gamesmanship with the, with the media and everyone else, but uh, it would be great to see the Ballon d'Or player at uh, in and around the, the final. I think it would be great. Unless yeah. uh, France is leading by four goals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I got it. <laughs> yeah. But no, but that's what I'm saying. The France score is that good that the Ballon d'Or player is not even. Not I mean, he's injured, injured, but he's. They don't need they him. Not, they, yeah, they exactly. Not really they, they've not they missed him not at really all. Yeah. So. And Deschamps also was always a. Yes, yeah. <laughs> 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 that was the best coach. Yeah. Okay, guys, we going to meet after the World Cup final. Let's see w- what is the thing. Right now, we've discussed lots of issues. Hopefully, I don't know. I, I hope the finals is was as good as the semis and a lot of the other games. But it's been very, very interesting. I don't know. Some new stars come up. I don't know. The older ones have performed even better than last time. Yes, probably. And Messi... Swam, uh, swam song, maybe, or oh, maybe repeat, maybe. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Thanks. Thanks, Kabir. Thanks, Amri. Thank Thanks, you. Ajay. Thanks, Mahesh. Thank you. See you all on Monday after the finals on Sunday. Let's see who wins. I think Amri's uh, prediction is still there. What is this? Uh, Argentina. <laughs> Argentina win. Yeah, I, I, I'm jumping in with Amrit for sure. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Two, two yeah. for Argentina. Uh, three, I think. <laughs> what about it? I go for Argentina. Oh, oh four for Argentina. Yeah. I will go for France. The blue shirt also. The blue shirt also correct. Absolutely. It was not planned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's see Argentina for uh, France. France one. Not the score line. <laughs> Just <laughs> some people for <laughs> <following. laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. And keep watching. We'll be back on Monday with the analysis of the finals. Thank you. And keep watching.